Hi, welcome in. Perfectly happy. Be content with what you have because God has said, never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. Hebrews 13, 5. A cat's purr is one of the most soothing sounds around, but it's also a little mysterious because we don't completely understand how or why they purr. We usually think cats purr because they're happy and content. And that's true. But cats purr for other reasons, too. A mother cat will purr right after her cat kittens are born. The vibrations help the kittens whose eyes are still closed find the warmth and milk of their mom. Cats also purr when they're nervous or hurting. Scientists think the purrs soothe them and may even help them recover from injuries quicker. Every cat has its own personality. Some are soft and rumbling, while others sound like an engine starting up from across the room. Whatever the reason behind it, purring has become a symbol for feeling happy and content. The Apostle Paul said he had learned the secret of feeling happy and content no matter what. How? By counting on Jesus. Philippians 4, 12 to 13. He trusted Jesus to give him all the truly needed. And you can too. That doesn't mean you'll feel like turning cartwheels all the time, but it does mean you will have a blessing each day. You might just, you just might have to look up to remember it. Even on the worst days, you have a good, a God who will never leave you and promises to meet all your needs. And those are some pretty good reasons to purr. Lord, open my eyes to see all the reasons I have to be happy and content and let me purr out my praise and thanks to you. How great. House cats aren't the only cats that purr. Big cats like bobcats, cheetahs, lynxes, and even mountain lions purr too. But cats that roar like lions, tigers, leopards, and jaguars don't purr. That's because the bone in their throat is too hard to vibrate, unlike the more elastic bone of purring cats. How about that? I learned something new. Well, thank you for coming in. Have a great day now.